So let us solve question number 100 guys. What we have, let's see. Which of the following set of molecules will have zero dipole moment? Quickly recollect which molecules have zero dipole moment. The molecule which will be connected to only bonding pairs by the same atoms and it does not have any lone pair. So that is one hint that we have. So let us look at the molecules that we have. We have boron trifluoride. Okay, that is our first molecule. Hydrogen fluoride, carbon dioxide, 1,3 dichlorobenzene. Let us draw the structures of all the four molecules. So we have boron trifluoride. Will this have a zero dipole moment? Yes, because it is connected to the same atoms and no lone pairs, right? There are no lone pairs over here. Next one is HF. HF will be what? HF is a polar molecule. Yes, we know that. Third molecule is CO2. So CO2 is C double bond O. Double bond O. This will cancel guys. Yes. So for the first molecule, BF3 it is 0. For CO2 it is 0. Let us look at the fourth molecule that is 1,3 dichlorobenzene. So is it 0 for 1,3 dichlorobenzene? Let us check. Cl on the first carbon. Right? This will not have a zero dipole moment, guys, because the dipole moments are not cancelling each other. Right? So first option is not our answer. Let us look at the second. Nitrogen trifluoride, beryllium difluoride, water, again 1,3 dichlorobenzene. So nitrogen trifluoride, what will be nitrogen trifluoride? Nitrogen connected to three fluorine atoms and there is a lone pair, right? So this will not have a zero dipole moment, guys. Okay, so second one is also now not our answer. Okay, let us look at the third one. Boron trifluoride, zero dipole moment, correct. Beryllium difluoride. So beryllium difluoride is what? B F2. Yes, both the dipole moments will cancel each other. If both the dipole moments are cancelling each other, then the dipole moment over here is zero. Okay. So till now both the molecules have zero dipole moment. Carbon dioxide, zero dipole moment. 1,4 dichlorobenzene. So if I'm talking about 1,4 dichlorobenzene, so what will be the structure? Right? Are the two dipole moments cancelling each other? Yes. So this will also have a zero dipole moment. Yes. So the final answer to this question is option three guys. Okay. I hope you have understood this. Let us move on to the next question. Okay. The following metal ions activates many enzymes, participates in the oxidation of glucose to produce ATP and with Na is responsible for the transmission of nerve signals. Okay. So you guys are bio students. So you might be knowing this at the tip of your tongue guys, right? So which ion do you think will be responsible for transmission of nerve signals? The answer is the third one guys it's a factual question guys okay let us look at the next question okay one or two okay question from organic chemistry okay and alkene on ozonolysis gives methanol as one of the products its structure is so no need to write down the reaction guys very simply what you can do is you can just break the double bond put oxygens on either side and you can check the products okay so what we have let us look at the first structure i break the double bond i put oxygen oxygen am i getting a methanol no 
am I getting a methanol? What is the question saying? Methanol, right? Am I getting a methanol in the first case? No, I'm not getting a methanol. Break this double bond. Put oxygen on this side. Put oxygen on this side. Am I getting a methanol over here, guys? Is this giving me a methanol? Yes, right? So what is the answer, guys? Answer is option two, okay? So, well, the easy question, just that you should know what is ozonolysis, okay? Let us move on to the next question, guys.